Eden SA High School is built on a long legacy of resilience and excellence despite circumstances. This evening is yet another testament of this. Today, our distinguished graduates have faced one of the most difficult challenges of their generation in successfully completing their entire senior year completely via distance learning, but are now presented to you virtually, ready to become official graduates. This afternoon, we strove to put together the 2021 commencement ceremony for you, our parents, graduates, faculty and staff, and other well-wishers through this means. It is our hope that you enjoy the proceedings and that wherever you are, you help to celebrate with Eden High School graduating class of 2021. class of 2021. In this occasion of great joy, it's my honor today to extend a warm welcome on behalf of Eden High School Board and the management, the administrators, and the faculty. We welcome you students, parents, family members, friends, sponsors, education officers, government officials, our community, and all of you watching abroad. We may be distant physically, but today we are together in spirit, gathered to celebrate the remarkable and unique achievement of the Eden SDA High School class of 2021. We welcome you to our 31st graduation ceremony for Eden SDA High School under the team with aim, attain higher than the highest motto, God's ideal for us keeps us going. Graduates, today marks the beginning of higher milestones. May the Lord give you the desire of your hearts and make all your plans succeed in this life and the other to come. Keep pressing higher as you have your eyes fixed on Jesus. Enjoy this special program prepared for you. God bless you all.
thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. This afternoon, it is my privilege to seek the Lord's presence here through prayer. I'll invite you now to kindly bow your head and close your eyes as we have a word of prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for your many blessings that you have bestowed on Eden SDA High School. We thank you because you have brought us this far. Regardless of the situation with the pandemic, we are celebrating our 31st commencement program. Thank you for guiding us throughout this school year. And as this program begins, we pray for your presence and we pray for your blessings, especially on the graduates. Thank you once again. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This year's salutatorian is Amanda Salazar. She is from Fourth Form Sinai and has placed second in rank from among her graduating class. She brings to us the salutatory address, after which Maya Roberts will bring to us a musical item in song. We will then hear from this year's valedictorian, Hannah Gonzalez from Fourth Olive, who from among 151 seniors excelled and topped this year's graduating class. Our vote of thanks at the end of the program will be done by Adam Sis from Fourth Sinai. He is our third place student this year. Join with us as we applaud our top performers. Guest speaker, Dr. Ha Dr. Hart Gillett, faculty and staff of Eden SDA High School, parents, guests, and fellow graduates, a pleasant day to you. I welcome you on behalf of the graduating class of 2021. Finally, the long-awaited moment has arrived. As you are in the comfort of your home viewing us, the graduating class, it tells us how valuable we are. Words cannot express how grateful we are at this moment. Today's ceremony is both a celebration of what we all have accomplished and, challenge, and a challenge for us to strive for even greater achievements. In the words of Benjamin Franklin, without continual growth and progress, such words as improvement, achievement, and success have no meaning. I have witnessed my own growth through these past four years and intend to continue to grow. We began our journey four years ago at this wonderful paradise called Eden. During these years, we have been preparing ourselves for this special occasion. It was filled with ups and downs, but we are finally harvesting what with so much labor we had sown. First, this would not be possible without God's help. Our parents who showered us with unconditional love, patience and sacrifices. Our teachers who tolerated our attitude and helped us to improve it. Our sponsors who believed in us. Mrs. Darlene Larios, thank you. And any of you who in some way shared in our accomplishment not only academically, but in life. You all have taught us to be strong and handle our disappointments and glorious achievements. For the road ahead of us will not only be an abundance of blessings, but also storms and spiritual droughts. We, the class of 2021, have been dreaming about this special moment as it marks another important step towards our future. We now journey to different destinations, which hopefully take us to the subsequent goal of our dreams. With this in mind, we have invited you today so that you may take part in sending us off into our ensuing quest. My dear graduates, the time has, has arrived for us to decide which roads to take. We now move on, knowing that everything is possible through prayers and faith in God. We do not know it all, but life will bring us enough experiences that will mold us into better persons. This special day is filled with happiness, excitement, sadness, and at the same time, fear. Today, as we close this chapter, we say goodbye to our past and look forward to our future. Every moment spent with family, friends, classmates, and faculty have marked our lives in a very special way making us who we are today, the proud graduating class of 2021. So once again, welcome to our special virtual graduation. May God bless you.
Speaker Dr. Hart Gillett, members of Eden High School Board, Principal Mr. Eradito Pineda, faculty and staff of Eden SDA High School, parents, fellow graduates, and invited guests, a pleasant day to all. It is my honor to be addressing each of you today. As I commence, I'd like to give special recognition to a few outstanding persons. First and foremost, our God for blessing me with his wisdom and understanding and for good health and strength. To my family for always being there for me no matter what and for pushing me when I needed it most. To my friends for supporting me in every step of the way. To the faculty and staff for teaching, guiding, and encouraging me. And last but not least, to my sponsors, Hearts of Christ, who provided me with a full scholarship these four years. I'm greatly appreciative of the impact you have made in my useful life. I hope I have made you proud. Today we celebrate the 31st commencement exercise of Eden High School. The word commencement means a beginning or a new start. The reference to our ceremony today comes from a Latin word referring to our ceremony of initiation to, to new scholars into the fellowship of higher learning. Today we celebrate the stepping out from the hands of protection and nurture provided for us here these past four years. It is the beginning of a new chapter in our lives the entering into the stage of opportunity to apply the values, principles, and life lessons we have seen expressed and instilled in us at our beautiful Eden School. For the past 12 years of our education, we have been afraid to fail, to do a bad job. As we commence this new chapter in our lives, it will be a part of maturing for us whenever we fail. We may fail at making the right decision, at planning. We may fail in the first days of our job, fail to follow direction, and fail to adhere to advice. But it will be okay, because by feeling, we learn and become stronger. We might hit rock bottom a number of times as we go along, but what better foundation to build on than rock? Statistics have shown that in this new chapter which we are now entering, 40% of the people who write down their goals and end up achieving them. So, class of 2021, believe in yourself even when no one else does, and make your dreams a reality. Work on them. Don't give up easily. And remember, failure is just a course correction to success. Mistake teach and let us mature into being better. All these journeys, past, present, and future, help shape who we are. Four years ago, we entered this campus not knowing what to expect. Now we live with a bittersweet sensation for as we went day by day in our routines, we did not realize we were making special moments to remember. We were not able to finalize our last year in a person-to-person -person environment but it didn't make it any less special. In fact, it made us realize the value of what we have. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. May God bless each of you, and congratulations, class of 2021. Eden SDA High School Board and Management, guest speaker, Dr. Hart Gillette, faculty and staff of Eden SDA High School, parents, graduates, sponsors, and other invited guests. Listening to this virtual graduation, a pleasant good day. The school year 2020-2021 was a challenging one. A year of great adverse circumstances that will forever be wedged in our memories. A year of constant adaption due to the changes. Nevertheless, faculty and students kept focus in accomplishing their educational goal in spite of the pandemic, the lockdown of schools, and the economic crisis that compounded the situation, just to mention a few of the major issues. These were combined with the frustrations of online classes and paper-based work, in all this, our students exercise the powerful example of the gift of resilience and perseverance that God has given to each one of us. Students, you pressed on, motivated by the assurance to trust in the Lord with all your heart and not to lean on your own understanding. This advice is also given. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. Of the 152 students enrolled, today we are celebrating the successful achievement of 151 of them. 
Our teachers work tirelessly to assist our students in achieving their goals. I will summarize it in the words of a parent, and I quote, thank you all. So grateful for the commitment and dedication shown by the staff of Eden High. Close quote. Ellen White, in her book entitled Education, states, higher than the highest human thought can reach is God's ideal for his children. Godliness, godlikeness is the goal to be reached. Before the student, there is opened a path of continual progress. He has an object to achieve, a standard to attain that includes everything good and pure and noble. He will advance as fast and as far as possible in every branch of true knowledge." Close quote. Students, parents, and teachers. I also include sponsors of our students. Congratulations on your educational success. God bless you, students, as you go forth to be a blessing to our community. God be with you. Special invited guests, parents, Eden 2020-2021 graduates, and the general public. Today, I was graced with the opportunity to present to you the guest speaker for Eden's 31st commencement exercise, Dr. Harth Gillett. Dr. Gillett was born and raised in San Ignacio, attended Sacred Heart College, and graduated in 2005 with honors. He was awarded a student leadership was a prefect and a part of the student council. He went on to further his studies at St. John's Junior College, where he graduated with honors in academics and was also awarded for student leadership, community service, and was a part of the campus ministry. 
Dr. Gillett went on to pursue his medical degree in Cuba and graduated with a gold title. The only student to have been awarded this title out of 35 graduating Belizeans. He returned and served his country working as a medical officer at the Western Regional Hospital for the Ministry of Health from 2015 to 2020. He attended patients in outpatient clinics, treating everything from the common cold, hypertension, and diabetes. However, most of his time was spent saving lives in the emergency room where he attended to patients involved in accidents, gunshots, venomous snake bites, broken bones, and other life-threatening situations. At the Western Regional Hospital, he was selected as assistant head of department of the emergency room. He was also selected as the employee of the year and the medical officer of the year for three consecutive years. Due to his outstanding performance, he was also the liaison officer for US orthopedic team and US emergency medicine teams who do charity work in Belize. He also taught biochemistry and physiology at the American Northwest University for a short time. Presently, he works at St. Luke Hospital in Belmopan. Hence, today I can safely say, I leave you in good hands. I'm sure that a man with such intellect and experience can give you a message that will motivate you to cling to God's promises and thrive. Please welcome with a virtual applause, Dr. Hart Gillett. Good afternoon to the administration, the faculty and staff, the invited guests, and of course, um, all the graduates of 2021. Congratulations, first of all, to all the graduates. This is quite an achievement. So you can go ahead and pat yourselves on the back for a job well done. I've been asked to give you some words of encouragement, some motivation, and I thought to myself, what exactly was I told at my high school graduation? And to tell you the truth, honestly, I don't recall who it was or what they told me. So I thought I'd share something with you that means something to me. That way it doesn't just stay in the air and hopefully some of it sticks with you. Anytime that I get a life lesson, anytime that God speaks to me, I get an epiphany. Anytime I've learned something important, I try my very best to write it down so as to not forget. And I have quite a collection, but at this moment, I'd just like to share with you my top three lessons. The first of which is to put your faith in God. Make God a part of everything that you do and put him in, in everything you do. And whatever you do, ask yourself, is this for the glory of God? Because everything you see in me, everything that you think I have, I've gotten by God's grace. You must understand that I do, that this is a gift. And like all gifts that are given freely, you must give thanks. And the best way that I know how to give thanks is by serving others. I do, of course, get down on my knees and I pray just like everyone else. But I think that the best way to show thanks is, of course, to serve others. One of my teachers once told me about Ubuntu, a phrase that has at its core service to other people. It means I am because we are. We should stop being crabs in a bucket in Belize. So when you serve others, whenever you do this, I tell you that you will notice God's grace, God's presence in your life, and you will feel fulfilled. The joy that you will receive is the greatest gift. God has been in my life, and I've had tremendous success. And what I was taught that day has stayed with me. And I've been guided, I've been protected, and of course, I've been corrected by God. I've kept God in my life, and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. So give thanks. Give thanks for grace. Say thank you for mercy. Say thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Say thank you for my teachers. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. 
Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. Because true desire in the heart, anything that you want deep down, that fire, that burn, that itch, that is God's proof to you that whatever you want is already yours. All you have to do is work hard and claim it. Number two, this one my mother taught me. She said you must have purpose in life. Today is the beginning of the rest of your life and it can be scary. It can be a mean world out there and you only live once. So do what you feel passionate about. Take chances and don't be afraid to fail. And if you must fail, fail big. My first shot at medical school uh, was in Guatemala City and I didn't have enough money to complete it there and I didn't know Spanish. But by God's grace, I found a scholarship fully paid to Cuba and I took that opportunity. And no matter how hard it got, I prayed and I finished. So don't be afraid to dream big, to fail big. But remember that dreams without goals get you nowhere and is a setup for disappointment. So have dreams and set goals. You must set daily goals, monthly goals, and it can be something simple, something small like today. I'll try not to lose my temper with patience. Don't just do a good job today. You don't get to take the day off tomorrow because you feel like you did a really good job today. You must do a good job every day. Be great every day. Strive for excellence every day. One of the main things that makes successful people successful is that they're very good at working hard at what they do. And in this text, tweet, and twerk world, just because it seems like you're doing a lot more doesn't mean that you're getting a lot more done. You shouldn't confuse movement with progress. So apart from working hard, you must also work smart. So continue to strive, continue to have goals, and continue to progress. My last one is, of course, use your head. We all have different talents. We all have different levels of intelligence. We are all different types of smart. Some of you are street smart, some of you are book smart. Some of you will be doctors, some of you lawyers, some of you will be nurses. Some of you will be teachers, waiters, bartenders, business owners, garbage men, preachers, or bankers. And one of the most selfish things you can do in this world is to use your talents to help someone else. Each one should teach one. When you get up, help someone else to get up. Never be afraid to learn what you do not know. Don't just accept and say that I don't know. In my work, I've learned that motivating someone isn't enough. You must also educate and train. See, if you have an idiot and you motivate him, then what you get is a motivated idiot. Knowledge is power, and that has always been true. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. Thank you.
authority vested in me by the Ministry of Education and the Department of Education of the Belize Union of Seventh-day Adventists, and in accordance with the records presented by our high school secretary, I have the honor to present this day 151 graduates, 90 in business studies and 61 in science. Having successfully completed the course of studies prescribed by this institution, and having met all other requirements, I confirm these students as graduates of Eden Seventh-day Adventist High School, effective this, this 13th day of June, 2021. It is an honor to present the class of 2021, the class of Fort Business Olive, Jonathan Otoniel Aguirre Lazaro, Yaneli Antonia Alvarado, Hamaini Granger Azueta, Miguel Ángel Balona, Kari Kianji Berry, Gabriel Kevin Canto, Salomi Dayanara Canto, Gian. Henry Gilberto Carrillo, Shani Shahida Chavez, Jocelyn Gisela Chen, Elsie Joanna Cisneros, Honor Roll, Lavan Lamar Joseph Garnett. Hannah Hadassa Gonzalez, Valedictorian, Honor Roll. Julissa Seleni Guerra. Valani Francine Haylock. Travian Tyreek Hernandez, Honor Roll. Darwin Anthony Ishtekok, Honor Roll. Chanel Edicta Louise Lennon. Kelly Tamara Lerma. Joy Rochelle Pandy. Betty Rocio Rajo. Jason Adalberto Ramos. Stephanie Lorena Ruano, Honor Roll. Kelvin Omar Sakik. Yoni Rene Sosa. Demi Julissa Tech. Roseli Lisbeth Tech. Antonio Salvador Zip. Viani Kaylin Valdez. Edgardo Andres Violante. Daniel Darius Williams. That was the class of Fort Business Olive. The class of Fort Business Zion. Emily Jessica August. Charlene Adet. Bakab, on a roll. Itzel Vidail Barrera. 
Derek Ismael Chan. Yamilet Chavez. Alex Samuel Dubon. Brian Kelvin Estrada, honor roll. Ilona Celeste Garcia, honor roll. Johan Noel Garcia. Reina Lizette Gudiel, honor roll. Lucero Vanessa Hernandez. Sandia Kaira Landero. Samuel Leon Garcia. Victoria Elena Mengiver, honor roll. Rigel Eliazar Mesh. Merlin Anayeli Miss Orego. Jenny Luz Montoya. Malcolm Henry Mutri. Dianara Emery Padilla. Verónica Elizabeth Peralta. Yari Marian Pot. Beatriz Humbelina Requena, honor roll. Ivan Leo Requena. Jocelyn Azucena Ruano. Chenita Azucena Ruiz, honor roll. Ruth Glendale Salazar. Rosendo Nathaniel Tech. Damaris Aurora Sib. Ashanti Francelia Valdez. Leili Paula Valdez. Kristen Dean Valerio. Abdul Rahim Vernon. That was the class of Fort Business. Zion, presenting now the class of Pisgah, Elsha Briangi Belial, Christine Jasmine Cook, Jareem Alexander De La O, Marisa Marie Escobar, Bailey Tanisha Garcia, honor roll. Kevan Anton Gentle. Howard Oscar Gentle. Trisha Rebecca Harris. Tanya Michelle Hernandez. Honor roll. Jocelyn Melissa Herrera. Naomi Arlet Itzab. Jalen Linda Jones. Sean Alexander Jones. 
Emily Veronica Manzanero. Jason James Martinez. Alicia Zaina Obando. Christian Carlitos Pinelo. Deandra Andrea Pinelo. Suseli Lisset Ponce. Erika Josephine Reyes. Cecia Jemima Sanchez. Loreni Danielita Scholl. Alfred Anthony Torres. Litsi Karina Torres. Geraldo Gabriel Tut. Brisa Nayeli Zul. Honor roll. Christy Gail Valerio. Wilfred Austin Warrior. That was the class of Fort. Pisgah, continuing with the class of Fort Academic Sinai. Marlon Germain Aguilar. Kevin Amaya, honor roll. Arcela Franceli Canto, honor roll. Hamid Cervantes. Maylin Olga Chi, Honor Roll. Christy Alejandra Carmencita Kuch, Honor Roll. Omri Edward Destan. Janet Estrada, Honor Roll. Amia Mauri Garcia. Ronaldo Alberto Gonzalez. Edwin Jesus Guevara. Honor roll. Jaime Gregorio Hernandez. Honor roll. Shamira Sheni Landero. Edson Kelly Landero. Honor roll. Michelle Azucena Linares. Karina Viviana Lopez. Honor roll. Rachel Elizabeth Martinez, Honor Roll. Marlene Susan Mayorga. Ulrich Javiel Molina, Honor Roll. Alisa Nicole Pineda, Honor Roll. Astrid Shireen Morales. Adiel Otoniel Ricaldi. Shamar Princelcio Rivera. Amanda Margot Salazar, Salutatorian, Honor Roll. Brianna Naomi Simmons. Joshua Elijah Tut. Kahil Lashan Usher. 
מרנל, ליוזמר ולסקס. היידי, היידי ורנון. קלאודיה, ג'וליסה ויאלדה, אונר וול. אדם, ג'סטין, פראיסו, סיס, וורד אוף טאנקס, אונר וול. That was the class of Fort Sinai. Presenting the class of Fort Moriah. Alia Emily Baldera. Zamir Joshua Jr. Balona. Helis Yasini Kok. Rowan Emalet Enriquez, on a roll. Carlos Gonzalez. Susana Abigail Guardado. Janine Hilda Molina. Asgiani Robatu. Juliet Genevieve Robatu Jeffrey Giovanni Sib Melanie Karina Almandares Diana Stephanie Hull Richard Ernacio Casildo, on a roll. Emilia Kyle Holman. Eduardo Alexander Lopez, on a roll. Maria Yamilet Molina, on a roll. Justin Ruben Perez Maya Kimalini Roberts Honor Roll Kirsty Ali Samos Amber Gianni Usher Eva Elena Vialda Luis Allen Barrientos, on a roll. Adrian Torian Cruz. Shamarl Havan Hidden Flowers. Patrick Jahim Miller. Edith Miranda. Ryan Pop Jair Shimei Ruiz Jasmine Pearl Serrano Dylan Alex Wait Congratulations to the class of 2021 Guest speaker, Dr. Hart Gillett, faculty and staff of Eden SDA High School, parents, fellow graduates, and other invited guests. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good afternoon. It is with excitement that I can say that this long-awaited event is finally here. Nevertheless, to reach to this point, we had to invest time, hard work, and sacrifices. But today, we proudly say that all of that did not go to waste. I could sense the overjoy that our parents share with us because of our achievement. Even though we are not having the ideal graduation ceremony that we wished or dreamed of, this is a major step in the journey of our lives. We have reached this far because we were all committed to doing our part. However, 
I must highlight we could not have done it without God. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I would like to take this time to praise and express gratitude to our Heavenly Father who protects, supports, and inspires us on every step that we make. It was only because of God's blessing that we had the privilege of being enrolled in this prestigious institution. I would like to make a special mention of all our parents, family members, and sponsors who believed in and supported us to this day. We are blessed to have you in our lives. I express with all sincerity our utmost gratitude and say we love you. Thank you for everything, and as we continue our journey, we continue to count on your support. I also want to recognize the phenomenal leadership skills of our principal, Mr. Pineda, and the vice principal, Mrs. Sherlin, who made sure that Eden Day High School is a place where nature and revelation unite in education, as our motto and logo says. They have lived to be a fulfillment and inspiration to us to be great leaders. Thank you, and continue to do what you do to make Eden a better place. Teachers, it is, a, it is an understatement to say thank you for all the lessons, values, stories, and life hacks that you eagerly taught us. You all exerted a strong influence on our individual lives. Today, we recognize all the hard work, dedication, and sacrifices, whether online or face-to-face. -face. Within the four years or less that we have been all together, all the teachers became our second parents, friends, mentors, and counselors, defenders, and much more. One day, we will return to visit and share our accomplishments. I can assure you, you will not be forgotten. Our memories together will forever be our treasure. A wise man once told us, don't work hard, but work smarter. That quote will forever stay with all of us as we proceed with our lives. To all support staff, I would like to say thank you for making Eden our second home. You made us feel safe, comfortable, and delighted with your simple smiles, which made a huge impact on all of us. I will surely miss the early morning greetings, the food, the beautiful garden, and the heartwarming welcome. To my fellow graduates, what can I say? Caps off, we finally did it. Do not let high school be the end. Do not limit yourselves. Ellen White once said, higher than that highest human thoughts can attain is God's ideal for us. Let us move on with confidence in this new chapter of our lives. Allow me to say thank you for the amazing four years we had together. Let all the memories that we built and shared always be cherished and close to our hearts. I can say that I did not just find friends, but I found family. At least in thoughts, we are not able to be reunited, but let us reminisce the wonderful days and experiences we had at Eden SA High School. I will surely miss you. As I close, once again, on behalf of the class of 2020-2021, I would like to express our sincere thanks to all that made our four years of study an unforgettable experience. We are now ready to embark on our individual journeys. I hope we can all one day reminisce about our high school life. As I step down, take heed of the words of Harriet Tubman. Always remember, you have within you the strength and the patience and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal Father in heaven, we give you thanks for your goodness and mercies. We thank you for having kept us safe during this school year. In spite of the different challenges that we went through there, God, you are with us. In a very special way, we thank you for 
the success that you have given our graduates. And we pray that as they now uh, embark on other journeys, that you will accompany them as well. Continue to bless Eden, the parents, friends, family, loved ones. And as we work together, that you will continue to bless us with success. Thank you for bringing honor and glory to your name. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the dreams bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back, memories bring so back we you. Talked all night about the rest of our lives. Where we're gonna be when we turn 25. And I keep thinking times will never change. Keep on thinking things will always be the same. So when we leave this year, I won't be coming back. No, I'm hanging out cause we're on a different track. And if you got something that you need to say, you better say it right now cause you don't have another day. Playing like a film without sound I keep thinking of the night in June Didn't know much love But it came too soon And this is how it goes Thing we learned in school Still be trying to break every single rule Will little bitty Bobby be a stockbroker man? Will I find a job on interview with my tan? I keep, I keep thinking that it's not goodbye Keep on thinking that it's time to fly